Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So, your energies, guys. Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, your person's energies, the Devil, and the King of Swords. Meeting energies, the Magician, Seven of Cups, the Focus, Chariot, Major Arcana, bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles. The opportunity to work together in order to establish a connection, I would say, hopefully with solid foundations but there is something that does not sit properly in this flow of energies and there is also a touch of silence that can come to play the four of swords can be the best possible thing in order to evaluate all the factors that can be involved with a connection that can be extremely passionate but how healthy and balanced is this desire, this passion it does not uh, need to become an obsession and Considering the Eight of Swords, this Devil Energy, guys, is getting the feeling like someone that is pushing for a connection to happen. And this can create a certain discomfort that can lead towards a quiet mode. This can be a work-related connection for some of you because of the Three of Pentacles as an energy. There is openness, which is a positive thing because there is willingness to interact with other people, but it's kind of like what if the openness of a person is misunderstood by another individual? and they get the wrong idea about something this is the feeling guys and so some of you eight of swords discomfort stuckness feeling like there is no way out just like the lady bounded in a rope blindfolded surrounded by swords which are thoughts Thoughts that we can find also in the Seven of Cups. An overwhelming energy, even this one. There is something that is not how some of you may desire when it comes to a connection that has already seen an interaction unfolding. There is something that is missing because of the Devil energy. Attraction, desire, passion can be involved but... We are missing something and some of you may have understood that kinda feeling stuck in a situation that is not the one that you were hoping for. And so the lady feels like there is no way out when in reality there is. She just doesn't see it and she needs to go with the water, emotions, feelings, intuition. The Four of Swords is kind of the key to overcome the Seven of Cups energy. And bottom of the Four of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands. Overwhelming set of situations or emotions. A lot of fatigue. And the Ten of Wands is the ending of a cycle, in some sense. 
The two of wands, guys, soulful decision for me. An energy that can be an influence for the following chapters of the journey. This man is holding the world in his hand, so his life, and he is evaluating a lot of aspects that are important in order to make a decision uh, that can set the tone for the movement forward. The focus with the chariot is about that. We need to aim high so that we can pursue um, successful outcomes. So this is a major crossroads, but this person has something that does not uh, does not vibe in a balanced way because because of the fact that the devil is an energy about excesses behaviors and patterns that can go from zero to 100 in the snap of the fingers as i usually say it can be the other side of the coin if we think about the lovers but it's different the way of channeling the energies. This seems to be a combination that is about someone that has gotten the wrong idea about an interaction and their ways are a source of discomfort. The King of Swords is an energy about truth and clarity because the King can take notice of all the factors that can play a role around him and he can convey precise messages. No space for misunderstandings. This can be a particularly straightforward person. The point is about what are the things that they say and they can be things inappropriate because the devil is an energy that keeps going until at least one of the two persons involved gets the pattern right and breaks free from the cycle this is a cycle of discomfort within this interaction this person doesn't realize that they are too caught up with the devilish influence and they think that with their ways, they can get what they want. But this is a tricky scenario. And the magician in the meeting of the energies goes two different ways because with the devil, magician devil is not the best possible combination. It can be about someone that can twist words or situation to their advantage and this is not exactly positive, especially because it can create confusion with the Seven of Cups. On the other hand, for some of you, the magician is the need for a decision, which is a call to action in order to possibly leave behind this connection. The chariot can be, yes, movement forward, but maybe in a different scenario because for me the chariot gets the feeling like wishing upon a star and allowing the star to guide the chariot to the place where it is supposed to be as a feeling there is no star within this connection because of the ways of this person again it can be a misunderstanding maybe they got the, the wrong idea but something does not sit properly the seven of cups is about options, scenarios, um, even choices, uh, but also factors that are brought to the attention of a person. These cups can be red flags in this scenario, guys. And some of you are called to evaluate deeply these nuances coming from this person it's kind of like they have two faces the king of swords remarkable as an energy but 
behind the facade there is the devil which is vibing as some type of an obsession and this can create discomfort for sure the magician is a powerful manifestor we can agree but for me he has the ability to pursue a higher vision and it seems that the vision is not in common so maybe this is a um, super specific um, flow of energies but I have to be honest it's not in favor of this uh, connection because of the influence of the devil so guys let's pull some oracle cards for guidance considering these energies and I just want to say that it's a tricky situation because we need to pay attention to the best possible way to uh, communicate or express that we are not interested in um, embracing a connection with the devil king of swords person here we go building blocks which is the three of pentacles as an energy we are trying to figure out if we can build solid foundations time to go the chariot all that glitters a facade it was a feeling since the very beginning not positive um, this person cannot be trusted basically going with this flow of energies uh, go the distance is about the chariot but kind of bouncing away they they may try to force some of you guys to embrace the connection when in reality you have understood that it's not um, a wise thing to do and they may try to use words to convince you they can create a facade full of um, factors uh, practical elements um, words let's go and do this thing let's go and do this other one so i can win you over this is the choice of words that is coming to my mind right now so not the best one opportunity well interactions uh, like this one can be opportunities in the everyday life uh, we can agree but we need to evaluate the the level of comfort that uh, comes with these uh, scenarios improving health this can be a choice that uh, takes into consideration also the level of comfort and pleasure that we can find within the interaction uh, with another person the eight of swords is not healthy it's overwhelming as an energy trust this is the factor that is missing guys and it's it's an unfortunate scenario uh, but if there is no trust because there is a facade or there is an obsession we cannot work together we are lacking the solid foundations when it comes to a partnership and so time to go this is a, a strong feeling so if you are in a scenario like this one pay a lot of attention because there is a major decision to make basically so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.